this is the energy vibration um, reading in for the Gemini Sun Moon and Rising sign for the month of June 2018 and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and thank you for the wonderful support and energy vibration that is coming in okay um, this is the last month of the second quarter and um, the energy in this month is the energy of the Sun we start off with four weeks in the two first weeks we have the energy of air and the second week we have the energy of um, water okay um, I want to say thank you so much for supporting and liking these videos please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign welcome to everyone thank you for being here please share this video so that each and every person can um, connect on a higher level okay um, I want to say to each and every person what is happening what is transpiring for you guys in this month it's going to be a situation that will affect you in a lot of ways but not to worry about this um, you need to just look for the positive way out so um, you guys have the energy of temperance okay this energy of temperance is that your angels and guides are saying have balance have balance just wait it out because everything happened in divine time and, and they're acts they're giving you in a guidance and helping you to balance out whatever the situation is and just wait it out until the right time is here okay so this is the motto for your month just balance wait it out until the right time has transpired okay so this month um, is whenever the energy of balance comes out because it's on um, you are an a uh, hair person and this month is a month of um, hair and water happy birthdays happy birthdays to you Gemini's because the two first week in this month is for the Gemini's who were born in this month and this is a um, very very wonderful for you Gemini's um, that was born in this month is um, very positive for you Gemini that was born in this month because um, the Gemini's who were born from the first until the twentieth. Um, this is wonderful. Your world, your rule by Mercury, and this is going to be good because this is why the energy of balance, temperance comes up. So this is going to be good. So happy birthdays again, and remember to listen to your birthday readings. Let's see what is happening in the first week for you, Gemini, for the month of June. I'm calling up from the angels who protect and guide the ascendance masters. Um, the Godinas, uh, um, the universal angels who protect and guide the Gemini's to show up. You have the Four of Swords in the first week. This is good for you guys because um, it's an air energy, so this is wonderful. So, this is why you guys have temperance, and then you have the energy of the Four of Swords in this the first week and this is going to be good because they want you to take some rest they want you to take some rest in the second week for you Gemini's there is the energy of the moon now the original um, second week is a fire energy okay it's a fire energy um, that is in a strength that is in the second week and it's your enemies this is really an energy of your enemies and they they are trying to reach you but they they can't reach you there's a lot of hate there's a lot of hate that is going on and they're trying to reach you so be aware in the second week because you can see the energy of these hateful people coming at you and you need to be aware of this in the second week okay let's see what is happening in the third week and the third week you're going to be victorious um, victorious over your enemies there's going to be a huge victory over your enemies so whoever these people are there is going to be a huge victory over your enemies okay so um, really really you Gemini's be careful in the second week okay fourth week fourth week we have the energy of the the the, the six of swords you're leaving a situation behind this is good because this energy of you leave in a situation behind wonderful positive energy because obviously there was a whole lot of hateful people a hateful situation that was transpiring and now 
you have overcome the situation in the third week and you're leaving the situation and moving on to something that is much better and much positive for you so this is going to be extremely good and I've always said to people whenever you realize that you are um, connecting with people who are lower energy who are so really this um, distasteful and um, ha and have so much hate and that sort of a thing uh, remove from the situation okay as we move forward we're looking at the energy vibration of uh, um, the first week going in the, the second week because the first week you have rest and it's as if rest because you have to stand up against um, these enemies these people that you love lower energies and lower frequency that you have to deal with in the second week and um, you had the nine of swords so obviously that was what they were saying rest because you have to stand up and your energy and frequency you have to um, have enough rest to deal with all these energies that is coming at you and these are low form of energies for some people it could be your thought pattern it could be that your thoughts are uh, overworking and you need to rest okay it can be that your thoughts uh, are overworking and you really really need to take some rest in the first week because in the second week you have to deal with these sort of lower energies and um, negative thought pattern and you need to ask the universe to stop these negative thought patterns that are going on okay and just call upon your angels and guide for inner peace inner peace inner peace within and inner peace with your mind and stop these negative situation that is going on in your head as we look at the second week going in the third week you have a positive energy this is a water energy this is also in the third week so this is very supporting where you're going to be looking in for inner wisdom and guidance okay you're going to be looking at inner wisdom and guidance you're look, going to be looking at healing your own emotional situation and leaving certain um, things behind you're going to be looking at forgiveness of the people who have done you wrong and you are going to be thinking of healing that situation and moving away from this situation because obviously it has to be a whole lot of negative energies or um, thrown at you um, that is coming from people hateful people people who are just um, hateful and revengeful and that is sending you negative energies and I've always said um, people don't have to do you anything just their thoughts and what they say about you will affect you and affect your um, your horror so um, protect yourself or visualize yourself in a golden egg and place um, call upon Saint Germain and Archangel Zachiel to stand in your aura and this will help you call upon uh, Archangel Gabriel supervisor of Torn element mass of fire 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 dragons and fire salamanders to come in and stand in your aura in this month especially in the second week going on in the third week you will win this and you will overcome this in the third week going on to the fourth week where you have won you have won a situation and you're turning your back and leaving the situation finally whatever this negative situation with these lower frequency people you have finally ended and you're moving on and you have turned your back on this and you have um, the Prince of Pentacles coming in to help you you have the energy of the Prince of Pentacles coming in to help you this is someone between the ages of 25 and 45 and is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so this is really wonderful really positive okay this is um, extremely wonderful and positive okay so um, these things really do happen um, uh, it is how the world is set up I have learned it now <laughs> so um, let's look and see what is transpiring in the second week with this worries and uh, um, you have to go within to find that inner strength and you're gonna find it because you're going to take on the energy of the king of wands and this energy of the king of one some of you could be having the situation with this energy of someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius over the age of 45 and this person is just totally ridiculous okay whoever this person is is working on such a low negative form of energy this person is really out of it okay some of you could be um, finding in a strength to deal with this person who could be your father or who could be um, a boss 
I'm seeing the energy of a father and a boss for some people or someone who is you're in a relation with and you're thinking about oh my god I just really need to get rid of this man that sort of thing <laughs> okay it could be someone who is mentoring you or tutoring you and it's just you know who um, you have decided you know and um, I'm not sure what to do with you and but whatever the situation is this person is really is as if um, some of you he's going to be helping you to protect you from uh, these um, negative energies and situation that you're dealing with okay so that is good as we look at what is happening in the third week with the victory and success because the third week is going to be a fire week for you guys and the third week is um, the energy of also the emperor in the general energy so the third week is a week that a lot of people are going to be looking within for emotional guidance and that sort of a thing and um, what is happening here is that you are going to over overcome and win the situation against your enemy but the situation that is here is that you have to find inner strength and what is going to help you is the princess of wands so whoever this energy of the princess of wands is this is someone who's between the ages of 25 or 45 that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay so what I'm seeing here is that you Gemini's um, you Gemini's in this month of June is going to be connecting and these um, fire sign people are coming in because whoever is have to be dealing with people of lower frequency um, you are going to have the energy of the night of, of, of the night of um, the night of um, uh, I, the king of Aries is just someone over the age of 40 which is going to come in and said hey no it's not happening Mm -mm. and this can be someone who is very powerful um, this could be a master this could be someone who is watching your back who um, you weren't aware of that is watching your back and this person is going to come in and say uh -uh, it's not going to happen and this is going to be good for some people who are overcoming certain aspects some of you are going to be connecting with um, the knight of Pentacles and these are people who are between the ages of 25 and 45 and these are the Taurus Virgo or the Capricorns some of you will be connecting with the Aries Leo and Sagittarius between the ages of 25 and 45 and this is here you're seeing this really playing out because they're going to be helping you out of the situation so we ask on the angels and guide to show us what is going to be the outcome of this month of June for you Gemini's is that you have the energy of the five of Pentacles so the energy of the five of Pentacles come um, out in the uh, in the month of June um, and, and as the outcomes and um, th th this energy of the five of Pentacles that is coming out um, in this month of June um, is because of the it's as if you were some of you were on a battlefield it's as if some of you were on a battlefield it's as if some of you are going to be going on a battlefield in the month of June it's as if some of you are going to be going on a battlefield in the month of June and you are going to be feeling so tired so at the last peak in this month of June and it's as if um, this this whatever that has been coming at you different frequency different sort of lower energies different sort of a situation you are going to overcome this you are going to overcome this and the people who are going to help you is people between the ages so it doesn't really matter what age you are um, people between the ages of 25 and 45 are going to come and stand at um, and, and, and stand at you know helping you um, to, to get out of this rut okay so you have temperance as the energy vibration for you guys in this month but the overall energies the, the um, focus and the the, um, the focus of this month is going to be um, you looking inwards or calling upon your angels and guide for inner wisdom and guidance let's move on um, to the energy of the love and um, love uh, career money and love career money and love 
first we are going to begin with the energies of the men over the ages of 45 so we're going to look at your career then love then money and then money then love so what is the energy for the men career wise over 40 there's going to be a lot of conflict so you men five of your tech and older there's going to be a lot of conflicts with your career a lot of conflicts a lot of situation that are unbalanced because you have temperance in this month and you can see this coming um, up so let's look at what is going to happen in your money section for you men over five of years to kind of older you're going to be working to build a stable foundation in your financial section this is it because you are there trying to work hard and trying to bring um, balance in your financial section so this is going to be good and then what do we have the outcomes of love for you guys outcomes from love is that some of you will be um, turning your back in a situation and looking for a new relationship um, for you men some of you are going to decide to look for better um, relationships in your life and this is going to be good okay um, this is going to be positive this is something that you really really need to do okay so we're moving on to the latest five of here took and older and let's see what is coming out in your career what is that mean for your career you have the energy of the five of cups some of you ladies by um, 45 and older you have a, a regret a situation um, situation in your career a regret you're having a regret about the situation that is in your career the five of cups energy is always um, that you wish you had done something differently or you wish you had um, choose a different um, um, situation or in your life that sort of a thing so whatever that is transpiring in your life is that as if you wish you had made different decision that you have made in your career some of you are going to decide um, that you're going to move away from a situation or find another job in the month of June okay let's see your financial situation for the latest five, 45 and older you have the energy of the two of Pentacles you have the energy of the two of Pentacles so um, you're trying to juggle your financial situation balance out your financial situation to make sure um, that you are you know you have um, your bills are being paid and that sort of a thing and it's gonna be good because um, you're learning more how to deal with your financial situation let's see what is going to come out for the latest um, the Gemini's um, ladies 45 years old and older in the month of June 2018 what is going to come out for love for you guys a uh, love letter there's going to be a message that is going to be coming to um, some of you and it's going to be an energy um, this is going to be a wonderful letter and it's going to be from someone who is um, someone who is um, a um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, and this is going to be an invitation like someone inviting you out that sort of a thing someone wants to connect with you so it can be text messages or it can be um, SMS or but it's it's, it's 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 in the form of a, a message that is coming out so this is going to be good for you ladies over 45 and over and you know you're gonna be thinking yeah yeah it can happen okay <laughs> okay let's move on to the people who are um, 18 to 40 the people who are 18 or um, 25 to 40 people 25 to 40 let's look at people 25 to 40 in work some of you are going to be connecting with the king with an a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and this person is going to be helping you to open up doors of opportunities for you let's look what is happening with the financial section for the people 25 years old to 40 the Gemini 25 years old to 40 in the month of June let's see what is going to be happening you have a lot of opportunities a lot of opportunities are going to be coming your way in 
your financial world a lot of opportunities a lot of city a lot of situation to make money is going to come in your financial world let's look at the energies in love for Gemini's um, ages 25 to 40 what is going to be happening in love new start new connection some of you are going to be meeting a soulmate a twin flame someone new is coming in your life so if you're between the ages of 25 and 40 expect to meet someone um, coming in your life that you are going to be especially for the men very interested in someone who um, you are going to want to connect with um, for a long-term relationship okay this is someone in who you're really going to want to connect with for a long-term relationship so this is going to be good okay so um we're moving on to the people um yeah i always say zero until um 25 but it's uh, it's let's say 16 to 25 for the people 16 to 25 or maybe 15 to 25 not pushing it i think at 16 you can have a boyfriend okay so let's look at 16 to 25 in work and school work and school heartbreak or break some of you didn't pass sorry there's a lot of heartbreak um, that is coming up for the young people the young Gemini's um, 15 to 25 a lot of heartbreak some of you didn't pass some of you didn't get have a good result um, okay let's move on and let's see what is happening in your financial world for the people 15 to 25 15 to 25 um, in your financial world it's going to be good um, it's going to be good because you're going to ask for what you want in your financial world you are going to ask for what you want in the financial world you're really 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 going to ask for what you want and you are going to be receiving this okay so you're going to be really asking for what you want so okay let's see how you're going to feel about love for the Gemini's age 15 to 25 how are you going to be feeling about love in the month of June what is going to be coming up for love in the month of June a new start a new start so let's see what has happened and what has transpired um, whatever has happened and transpired maybe um, you had a little um, conflicts with your um, partner your boyfriend or your girlfriend and um, you're going to overcome this and there is going to be a new start for you so this is wonderful and positive so you Gemini's are looking really 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 um good um, really extremely good whatever is happening for you guys it's going to be positive it's going to come out in a positive way for you Gemini's okay so we're moving on now to the zodiac energies so I'm calling upon the astrological angels to come in and show us what the um, Sun people Sun Gemini people people who were born between the hours of um, um, 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. For the month of June what is going to who they're going to have to deal with for the Sun people you're going to have to deal with the scorpions so you Gemini's have to deal with the energies of the scorpion people um, so if you were born between the hours of um, um, 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. you have to deal with the Gemini the um, no the scorpions okay so it could be scorpion friends it could be some of you are receiving the latest over 45 and older receiving a message from someone who is a scorpion um, this could be transpiring let's see what else is happening um, you are going to be dealing with the Venus so a lot of you are going to be having a relationship with the scorpions a lot of you are going to be connecting with the scorpions a lot of you um, are going to be really connecting in love with the scorpion so this is really really something a lot of you will be connecting in love with the scorpions this is really something let's look at the people who were born after 7 p.m. let's look at the people who were born after 7 p.m. the moon people you are going to have to deal with the Aries 
and yes it's coming back to the general reading because you have to deal with the Aries man five of um, 45 and older and the and the Aries Dharma so a lot of you are going to be dealing with the Aries a lot of you are going to be dealing with the Aries okay let's see who else you guys will be dealing with so a lot of you are going to be having a new relationship with the Aries a lot of you people between the ages of 15 and 25 is going to be having a new relationship with the Aries um, the people 25 and older are going to be having relationship with the Aries also and as we look at the energy for um, Pluto energy of Pluto is coming in the energy of Pluto is coming in for you um, moon sign people and whenever the energy of Pluto comes in because that is one energy that is um, the energy of Pluto have to deal with the scorpion so here again because um, Pluto is governed and ruled by the scorpion so a lot of you are dealing um, the Sun sign people are dealing with the scorpions and the moon sign people are dealing with the scorpions um, with their planetary the, the the planet that rules them so you are going to be have to be dealing with a lot of scorpion energy which is um, the energy of Pluto and the scorpion so that's is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen I really really want to say to you thank you so much I have a last message so um, they want me to use this card what is going to be the last message that we have for um, the Gemini for the month of June what is going to be um, the last message for the Gemini for the month of June is, is about work some of you are going to be having a situation about work whatever this is about or if it's not about work it's about something that is a dishonesty a cunning situation you're going to be meeting up on cunning people um, the um, uh, the seriously the Pisces people can be very cunning very cunning you have to be careful so some of you are going to have a situation to do with job situation or unconventional situation or cunningness people who are very cunning or trickiness or clever people are liared so it can be you or you have to deal with them so be aware of this be aware of this okay be aware of this I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back I'm wishing you a really wonderful month of June namaste